Young Americans who don't vote, why don't you? On a side note, voter turnout rates in the U.S. at the local levels are appallingly low. Because of this, mayors and council members can get elected with tiny vote counts and all it needs is a significant number of supporters, friends and extended family, and they're in. I'm convinced it's why we encounter frequent numbers of corrupt officials at the local levels as it's not that difficult to get elected and have access to corrupt opportunities. This will be the first year I won't vote. I don't want my parents being able to find out where I'm living and once you register your address to vote then your info is out there. I don't have enough cause to file a restraining order against them either so I can't do one of those programs like they have for DV survivors. I didn't vote in my early 20s because I couldn't make it to the polls due to work. In my mid-twenties I tried to but they moved my polling station and I couldn't find it. Three different times. In my late twenties to today I do vote, but I move so my polling location is easy to get to and I now have a job with normal hours. Makes it easy to do. I do vote. As a former non-traditional university student and being able to observe my younger peers it's not surprising a lot of 18-24 year olds don't vote. The fact that most elections and primaries are held during courses, typically near midterms when students are highly stressed and concentrated on other things, not to mention the ludicrous policies that require you to register to vote where you live which can be hundreds of miles away from where you reside during semester, because so many students use their parents' address for important or basically any postal delivery other than Amazon. So you have 10,000 young people of voting age in small pockets screaming their support for candidate X, then come election day they're in Chem 1102. 248 miles from their respective polling places. I'm too overwhelmed by all the resources and information out there that it's very intimidating. I'm not good with all that government slash politics talk either, so that makes tough to figure out a starting point. Because 80% of my day is work. 20% is me being so exhausted from work that I don't have the motivation to do anything other than sleep. And on the off chance that I do have energy, I'd rather do something that makes me happy. Remember the episode of South Park where the townspeople were forcing Stan to vote for the new mascot, and the candidates were giant douche and turd sandwich? For most elections, it always seems like both candidates are just absolute trashy people, and in the eyes of a young person who wants to see strong candidates instead of bickering boomers, it only makes it harder to want to vote, especially when they must choose between a turd and a douche. I'm so wrapped up in school that I haven't really looked into each candidate and if I vote I want to make sure I have done enough research to validate and make sure I'm not voting based off of what everyone tells me to vote for. I'm very politically active, and I've already mailed in my vote for next week's Washington primary. But one of my best friends doesn't vote. He says it doesn't matter, and there's nothing I can do to convince him otherwise. Trust me, I've been trying for over 20 years. He almost never watches the news, either and just gets his news from social media. Drives me fracking crazy. I think young voters have suddenly become a topic of conversation on Reddit because Bernie supporters are convinced that their lack of involvement is what has catapulted Biden into first place. I don't really think that's true though. Biden represents a moderate population that had largely been quietly ignored in the past few elections, probably making them seem smaller than they actually are. He's also very popular among black voters, an area Bernie has faltered in both in 2016 and now in 2020. Bernie's young support that doesn't come out to vote isn't much larger than Biden's old and African-American support that doesn't come out to vote. It's very easy to get the sense that Bernie should be the front-runner based on his popularity on Reddit and social media, but that's not an accurate way to poll. How about you make it a goddamned holiday and stop asking why overworked? sleep-deprived hormonal messes want to go home jerk off and spend time with friends instead of standing in line for multiple hours just to offer up a meaningless vote that because of the stupid voting system and slow erosion of democracy into a two-party system has become a vote for the candidate you hate the least instead of a vote for a candidate you actually agree with. Let's not even get into the fact most can't possibly even know what they are voting for. You really think a person who has just barely started shaving, can't drive and hasn't even been taught what taxes are could possibly have a vested interest in a vote? The ones dedicated enough to keep up with an increasingly cynical post-truth news cycle are the ones going out to vote. Don't put this on the ones that don't. This thread is entirely populated by a bunch of fucking crybabies. People give you an actual response to the question that was asked and you downvote them to hell? Don't be mad at the people who refuse to cast their vote when the competitive options are Uncle fucking Joe and a democratic socialist. If there were halfway decent options perhaps there would be a bigger turnout in general and liberals wouldn't have another apocalypse when Trump inevitably wins again. 
I want this democracy to fail. I want this republic to be torn down piece by piece and reborn as a functioning 21st century constitutional republic. We need another constitutional convention, it's been like 200 years since we last had one, and the only thing that both parties can agree on is that there's nothing wrong with the two-party system. It's like some comic book dystopia and people are saying the reason it doesn't work is because I don't vote. No, the reason it doesn't work is because it's a system ruled by money and influence where my vote isn't a voice, it's a commodity. For the last election, I mailed my application for an absentee ballot, I'm at university, and it bounced back, said there was no matching address. I double checked the envelope against the website, it exactly matched. Still not sure why it didn't go through. Seems like they switched it to an online application this time. I filled out my absentee ballot request last night. Hopefully it goes through this time. I vote but I don't think it matters. I live in California. It's always going to come up as Democrat, no matter which way I vote. On top of that, with how much misinformation is spread around, I feel I can never make an informed decision anyhow. I can only go with what sounds best, knowing I probably don't have the full picture. System is illogical, lots of ways for it to be corrupted, and it's seemingly made that way on purpose. The delegate system, electoral college is a joke. Why do we need a middleman, whom is most likely biased, bought anyway, between what people vote for and what we actually get? For example Bernie won Iowa and New Hampshire, by a landslide, and somehow Buttigieg had more delegates than Bernie? It wasn't until Bernie had a landslide in Nevada that he actually got a significant lead. I have a feeling Bernie is gonna have the popular vote like Hillary did but whoa ho hold on now, somehow or another some bullshit is gonna get popped out of someone's ass and Biden is gonna win somehow, even though the only thing he has done is be Obama's sidekick for a few years. Then has going to get elected and do jack shit in comparison to what Bernie wants to do, you know, like real progress. 2. Instead of frustrating myself thinking about how corrupt and illogical that system is, I could be watching anime and masturbating, possibly simultaneously. So as you can see, the choice is clear. I'm 25. I don't vote because I just don't care. Between my min wage job, no real degree and no general prospects in life, I have no real reason or personal incentive to get off my butt and vote. Make no mistake I'm not complaining about the consequences of my lack of action. I just get up, go to work, turn off as many emotions as I can in order to just get through the damn day, go to bed and do it all over again. I don't vote because I'm just a drone. That's how my life is and that's how it'll end. I'm a young person, 19, who did vote. However, I feel it's necessary to point out the despair young voters feel. As a generation we are beginning to recognize how flawed the system is more and more. The candidates have really already been decided, and on a more conspiratorial level, the ultra-rich are controlling the government through Congress. So what's the point of voting when it's the equivalent of the volunteer at the library asking you which puppets you'd like used in the puppet show they're putting on? This thread is hurting my brain and heart. The amount of people saying they just don't care or don't matter is terrible. We need to care. The person elected affects each of our lives. And while we don't have a true democracy, cough cough electoral college, your vote does matter. You determine where those delegate votes go. Even more so, educate yourself on the candidates and then spread the word. Talk to your friends and family about who represents your beliefs most and why. You can make a difference. My polling location is 90 minutes away and I didn't have the time to drive for 3 hours. I couldn't early vote for the same reason and the instructions for mail-in voting weren't very clear to me. Edit, for clarification it wasn't filling out the form that was hard, it was getting it from my town. I looked online but didn't find much and when I called in they said to send a letter requesting a mail-in ballot so I did but I never got a response or a ballot so I must have addressed it to the wrong place or something but they didn't elaborate beyond just send us a letter when I asked for who to address it to.